Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to be looking at this little guy right here. And as you can see on the side, this is the MQ-135 gas sensor. Now there's a lot of these different gas sensors out. The MQ-2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, the 131, and they all, you know, detect different ranges of gases. For instance, this one is uh, rated to detect benzene, ethanol, smoke, and CO2. But from the tests I have done, it will also detect ammonia and um, alcohol. So, as you can see here, we have a sensor and inside of it is a metallic strip that is coated with a chemical to react to these different gases. On the back we have a potentiometer to tune it and we've got this little chip here which, uh, let's see if we can see that, LM303 that is a dual synchronous current control other than that we just have some passive components. Now let's zoom out here and we'll put it in this little board that I have rigged up make sure I've got everything plugged in correctly. All right. So we've got our sensor here with its analog output coming over to A0. And for now, its digital output is going to D7, but I may change that. Then we have a 16 by 2 LCD hooked up here, along with a pot to control the uh, contrast. And we've got one of the active beepers hooked up here, and it's over on digital 8. So, let's do a couple tests here to see what kind of gases we can detect, and then we'll write some code and we will put together an air quality monitor. Alright, we got her all set up here and running. And after doing our calibrations, we found the outdoor CO2 level to be between 80 and 95, and the indoor CO2 level hovers somewhere here in the low 100s. So, watch, if I breathe on this, you can see the CO2 level climbs up. So we just got to give this a minute to calm back down and we'll test a couple things out. All right, the first thing we are going to test is 91% rubbing alcohol. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in the cap here, place it near the sensor. And you can see how quickly it picked that up. So we'll let it calm down and I'll be back. Okay. Next up, we've got some ammonia. I'll pour a little bit in the cap. And see what that stinky level does. There we go. Oh, I forgot to plug the uh, the alarm back in, but you can see it's triggering on the ammonia. All right, let's let it calm down. All right, I hooked the alarm back up this time. Next up on the parade of hits, butane. There we go. Butane it is. All right, we'll let that cool out and we'll be back for another check. All right, our final check. And the reason this isn't dropping down all that quickly is because I keep talking and it's really sensitive to the carbon dioxide. Anyway, our final check is smoke. I'm gonna use a candle. I'm not sure if this is one of the girlfriend's candles I'm allowed to burn or if this is a looking at candle so if you guys don't see me again after this you'll know I burnt the wrong candle but now we have a candle and I'm gonna blow it out and we'll see if we get some smoke in the sensor oh lordy lordy look at that okay 
let's let that calm down and go write some code. Okie dokie. Here is our code for the Arduino air quality monitor. Now note, be sure to burn in the sensor by leaving it plugged in for 24 hours. Then you want to calibrate it so you know what the reading is. So stick it outside for 10 minutes where we know what the uh, CO2 level is, unless you live in China, in which case you're fucked anyway. That way you know what your normal level is going to be. Once you do that, we can move on. First, since we're using a liquid crystal display, we need to include the liquid crystal library. Two things to define, beeper and sensor. The beeper is on digital 8 and the sensor is on analog 0. We create an instance of the liquid crystal library called LCD with these arguments. Don't worry if you don't know what they are. I have explained it down below. Then we have an integer called gas level, which we're setting at zero initially, and a string called quality, which we're leaving empty. In our setup, serial begin always. Always for me anyway, you might not do it. Pin mode beeper output, pin mode sensor input. Then we're going to have our initial splash screen, clears everything, prints air sensor on the first line, and then warming up on the second line. Now I've got it set for a two second warm up. You want to leave it for two minutes so that that element gets hot enough before you use it. Then we clear the screen once again and we begin. Gas level equals the analog read of the sensor. Then we say if gas level is less than 175, our air quality is good. If it's between 175 and 225, air quality is did you fart? If it's between 225 and 300, is something dead? And if it's above 300, it's pretty effing bad. Now we print out that. So we set the cursor top left, print air quality is. Then we drop down to the second line and we print quality, which is the string we just defined here. If you don't have a sense of humor, feel free to change those to something better. Here's how to hook up the LCD if you're unsure of it. And of course these are all uploaded to my Dropbox. Why don't I use GitHub? Because GitHub is a royal pain in the ass. Alright, let's go check it out. Alright, let's power up and have a look. See? Okay, air quality goal. Will you look at that? Oh, that's much better. Let's uh, tap fade a little bit with some butane. Oh, look at that. Pretty effing bad. That's not good. Of course, with all these trucks going up and down my road today, that's not good either. But, it is what it is. Anyway, <laughs> this was a fun little project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I didn't connect the alarm because you don't really need to hear the damn thing beeping. You know how that works. So, if you liked it, thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. I'll catch you guys next time.